Not yet. You can do it. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Scott's Home Home Shop. My name is Tara. And. I'm Scott. And today, our, this little quick video is we're going to show you the new truck, new three truck, three doll truck that we installed just a few minutes ago and show you some other some other equipment that came also with it. So, Daddy, give the honors of telling them. All right. You see these bolts sticking out here. Nuts, excuse me. Um, the studs they sent with the chuck and the studs that I bought this thread on this chuck goes way down into here. The thread, the studs they sent only goes into about right here. Well, I had to double nut this because there, you can't get a socket. You can't get a socket up in there to tighten up the nut. And it's not big enough, proud enough to come up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get socket head cap screws to fix that. All right, I didn't, we didn't film this because, to be quite honest with you, um, we had to get the learning curve. I didn't want to, you know, you post a video about uh, machining online, and, and they'll tear you a new one. Uh, so, uh, anyway, the TIR of this chuck, they said at the factory is uh, three thousandths, and I put a router bit in here, which is which the shank of the router bit is nice and true and straight, and it's right on three thousandths. So I had to turn the backing plate. If you'll get me a backing plate, I'll show them. Okay, how do I? Uh, the new one. The other one. The other new one. Yeah, that's it. I don't like how much this sticks out right here. Because here's the old backing plate. And the whole thing is only 650 thousandths. And from this surface right here to here is an inch 450. So, um, let's see. She's getting the chuck. I guess I could just pan around here and show, show I mean, not the chuck, backing plate. So, they don't make a three jaw, I mean, they don't make a four jaw backing plate that's got a half a 20 thread in it. And I didn't feel like trying to thread my own. Get out of there. So they make a they make a pattern. It, it says on their website, if you're backing, will you stop? <laughs> they say on your backing. I mean on your. I'm gonna hit you with this thing. They say on your backing. <laughs> oh, why are we all smudged? Probably smudged up right there. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'll turn back around to the other camera in a minute. But I need to be able to see what she's doing. I, I, they can see you. They're going to call me and tell me. But you drill a hole. Stop. You drill a hole. Let me turn back around. Leave me alone, kid. You'll have one hole right here. One hole right here. One hole right here. And one hole right here. So I've already laid it out and sketch up and it and it works out perfect. Right there. So you just go straight across here and then there'll be one a hole here and a hole here. So and demon tells you how to do it. They they give instructions. I wanted to turn all of this off because I you don't need all of that. I mean it, yeah, it's nice, it sticks the chuck way out there. But uh I just thought it was kind of uh too much, you know. That, th that thread's only going up in there the thickness of that piece right there. And this, anyway. So a little disappointed about the three jaw chuck. I, I guess that's just the way three jaw chucks are, um, because it's a scroll chuck. You can't. It, mm, it might get an inch and seven eighths inside the jaws, which that's the only only problem I'm having is because what we're doing is we're making a handle we're going to turn this off right here we're going to turn this down to a specific diameter and we're going to turn this off turn this right here off and so what what will happen is this will get turned all the way down to about right there and then this will get bored out 
all the way up to right there. And then this uh, piece that we just just did right here, this will get pressed into the center of that. And then we'll drill out the center to match that shaft right there. Because as you can see, that handle is broken. And it's super glued on there and it works, but it comes loose. So we're going to, and this won't look like a pulley anymore. This won't look like a pulley. This will all be bored out to fit that brass gear. And this, all, all these grooves will be gone right here. All these grooves will be gone. And all you'll see is an iron ring that will uh, be heated up and then pressed over that brass, that bronze gear. And then allowed to cool. And then the whole thing will be turned and faced. And then I weld a, a well, I may not weld. I may have enough flat left to drill and tap and put my, put our little acrylic uh, handle in that we made right there. See, you can tell somebody that hole was a little off. So I'm not going to cast a new knob or anything like that. All right, where's your forge, y'all? Your light still on? Still yep. On. And then three jaw chuck come with serrated jaws on the inside and we have a set of smooth jaw. And there's a chuck key for the hey will they interchange? Nope. Alright, so let's put this over here in the box where it goes. Okay, take that whole box down away from those indicators. There you go. Mm -hmm. And there's the four jaw. Yeah. The four jaw, baby. baby. Steel construction. Oh, yeah. Yes, it all needs to be polished up. It's all new. All right, so I got a I got a machine that backing plate. Ooh. Wow! I got a machine that backing plate here. Mm -hmm. That register I got to cut it down, and then uh, one bolt hole will get lined up, and then I'll uh, I'll drill the other bolts and counter bore them. Yeah, it's very very nice. All right, has anybody got any ideas how to do that? Now, the only thing I have here at my disposal is a drill press. Um, and I want a flat bottom hole, so I was thinking buy a cheap high speed steel end mill, drill these holes, and then uh, you know, flip them over and line up on them, put the drill bit back in there, line up, the, line it up, clamp it back down, take the drill bit out, put the put the uh, end mill in there, and then counter bore the hole with an end mill. A little cheap Harbor Freight end mill or something. Yes, sir. But all I need is go down there enough for the depth of the head. Like that. So, if anybody's got any comments, you have to leave the comments after the video post because for some bright, strange reason, uh, Facebook, I mean, YouTube doesn't, um, here, come here. I think our camera, I think our You're camera lens is. see me. Oh, end mill is a good idea from Stephen Lang. Shit. Shark River. Stephen Lang, baby. We know who he is. Thank you, Stephen. Right. So, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get an end mill and uh, turn that, counterbore that. I have plenty of room for, whoops. Hey, Pills. Hey, guys. The end mill would work. I have plenty of room for the head to stick out. The head would not be in the way of anything. Those are in there because they're that's just double nutted so I can put that thread, in, I mean that stud in there. But there's nothing in here, nothing in here at all that this is going to hit. The pin, the pin that, that goes right here that locks the back gear, it sits way over here. That's its furthest position out. It's right there. So that doesn't have to be, come on camera, focus. Focus. That doesn't have to be, um...
it doesn't have to be a uh, counterboard. But I'm going to counterboard anyway because it's the way to have it done. Okay. All right. So, <sighs> we finally got it all put all back together. She, uh, I'm going to turn it on. Make sure everything is clear. Yep. And you can see, to me, she seems to be running nice, nice and pretty. No jumping up and down. This right here, I don't know what's going on. I sharpened, I sharpened this little piece of high-speed steel, and it, and I did the register with it just fine. I faced the back of this right here, flipped it around, screwed it back up on the chuck, and faced the front. And, and the chuck's running nice and true. But when I try to take this right here, that little ridge right there, and just, this is slightly smaller than the chuck. And I tried, I just wanted to just, just start it, cut right there and just come across and just make it all one level. It gets about halfway across and then just stops cutting. The tip goes away on, on the bit and it's, it's in the slowest gear I can cut it in. It. Well, I don't have it in back gear, so I haven't done that. So I don't know if that would be the thing to do, would be to put it in back gears and slow it way down. Um, hold on just a minute. What size end mill? I will tell you. Do you want it in metric or standard? Metric, please. Let's see. What do you say? Anything? Nobody has said. Oh, Lang said, "What size end mill do you need?" I know what he said. Uh, the new carbide tips will solve the, that problem. And and he said inch. <laughs> Four hundred and seventy-one thousandths. You heard them. Fifteen thirty seconds is, uh, yeah, fifteen thirty seconds is what it measures. If you wanted to match. And you can't go much bigger than that because you'll come out through the side. You only have, uh, uh, three, six, you only have, oh, uh, come on, dang, get it there. You only have five thousandths before you're you're out through the side of the chuck, mm. which you got a lot more in here. You actually have seventeen, uh, sixteen thousandths. Lang said, "I will see what I can find." Thank right. you. We're not in a hurry. We got the three drop four seventy four seventy two on that one. Uh, four seventy two, four seventy three. So I'm just not measuring the same. But uh, we gotta get all this mess cleaned up. But there's the little four jaw, and so I hate that they can't make a scroll three jaw where you can take the jaws out and flip them over. Ryan Michelle said, "Hey." Hello, Ryan. Ryan Michelle. This is a stupid little pin, little uh, uh, studs they sent. But you can't run. You can't. You run the stud down in there, and there's no room to get a, a wrench on the, a socket on the wrench, a socket on the nut to tighten it up. So that's why I use the double nuts to um, <sighs> to drive it in there like a socket head cap screw. Yes, sir. All right, so we're getting we're getting stuff. Hey. And I even bought this so that when I put the four jaw chuck on there, I bought me a set of uh, transfer screw set for the. Um, Phil said, your RPM are high for that large diameter back gear would help. Try a radius instead of a sharp point. Try a radius instead of a sharp point. It won't burn the point as easily. Okay. All right. Well, I, yeah. I can also make my motor pulley smaller. And? I can make my motor pulley smaller, and I can try back gear and see if that'll do it. Um. But I'm interested Sorry. in trying this, a little transfer screw. So I'll put those in the back of the, I'll put those in the back of the four jaw, do, 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 and then uh, tap, it, wrap it with a little, with a little hammer, a little rawhide hammer, and mark the backing plate once I get the register turned down. I actually got the register turned down spot on. I mean, there's no run out in in this chuck body. Uh, I, I'm surprised. I'm. Definitely surprised. It runs just as smooth as silk. 
And I didn't want to film it because I didn't want to look like an ass on on uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to. So, but Tara is going to help me do the four jaw. We're going to do the four jaw together. And we will make a video of that. We'll make gonna, a video of that one. I was going to try to do it live. But, um. Yeah. We can still do it live, I mean. Well, we can still do live. It's just going to be, uh, several hours, several, several hours. Of. But I'm waiting on, yeah, the, yeah, Stephen, waiting on the, the car, the other, the Dolores to get here. It hasn't made it here yet. Um, it'll get here eventually. I've worked on brake lathes, okay? I've turned clutches and drums and rotors and all kind of stuff like that on a brake lathe. And, and, and so, I know a little bit. But, uh, I got good teachers. I got Pierre, Phil, Keith, Fenner, Keith Rucker, Adam, Lipton. That makes me want to drink John. Lipton soup mix. It makes me want to go make onion soup mix. Every time I think of him, Tom Lipton. Lipton onion soup mix. <laughs> Tom Lipton, John who? Oh, John W. Maybe. I don't oh, know. Jonathan oh. W. Yeah, yeah. Well, his name's not John. It's Jonathan. Jonathan. Lang said those lathes came with an intermittent shaft set that lowers overall speed of the lathe. That's what he said. Ryan said, "I think I see when I hear Lip Lipton." Lip Lipton iced tea. <laughs> Okay, Thank I'll bring my Lipton soup mix. You bring your Lipton iced tea, and uh, all we need. What else goes with Lipton? That's enough. Iced tea and soup. There you go. Uh, Stephen Lang said something. Said message retracted. It posted, but it says. Hold on, let me turn it around. Sorry, you may have deleted the message. You may have typed it wrong or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um. I want camera back so I can tell them to so buy a shirt. Buy a shirt? They already filled in and bought a shirt. I know, but some people on here. Some people on here? Ryan's I mean, done bought a shirt. I think he has. Has, has Lang? I don't know. Lang. Even if you bought a shirt, can you hold it straight? Sorry. You're going to make them drunk. <laughs> he said, I messed up. <laughs> hey, uh, we had a perfectly working forge. Well, and all those threads were gacked when I got it. Ryan said, yep, I bought a shirt. Bye, pitiful. bye. It's pitiful. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not trying to retire off of this. Now, I find it funny. Okay, my wife told me not to get disheartened about it, so I haven't. But I really do kind of find it kind of funny. Um, I got 400 people, and out of 400 people, now, mm -hmm. I understand people People don't have $25 to throw away on a shirt. And they might not like my logo, which that's fine and dandy. But a whopping seven people bought a shirt, and uh, I bought three of them. <laughs> <laughs> One for me, her, and the wife. All the same color. I think, right? Yep. So the lady is working just fine for, for whoever made that last comment. Not last comment as in this session right here, but whoever made a comment a while back about all I need to do is paint it and put it up on a shelf. Okay. I just, I just made this pen. Not today. <laughs> But I made this back gear pen instead of having to buy it. What do you want me to do? Up or no, down? Right there. I made that pen. Now, yes, I could have made the cap all part of the pen. Mm. But I was actually had a piece of brass that I wanted to thread up on there. And I actually decided to just make a piece of aluminum. So I turned down the aluminum. I turned down the aluminum. And then uh, parted it off. Right there. And then, and then I knurled it. But I didn't. I, I didn't. Uh, um, I didn't put the knurler in the tool post and put a lot of pressure on it. I put this in the in the chuck and I uh, indicated it in the four jaw chuck. And I just held the knurler right there by hand. It's aluminum and it put a nice little finish on it. See, we okay. Okay. Um. Adam Alterman, Alterman <clears throat> said, My daughter is nine. Easier to get her in the ham shack than machine shop. Sad face. There's the ham shack. See? Put the ham shack and the machine shop in the same place. Turn back around. Oh, There's the machine it. shop. All right. 
Ryan Michelle said, I I got the same type of comment when I showed my old barns lathe or the Atlas. 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 It is a it is good to start on. Phil said, you're doing nice work on that little lathe. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you got good like, people out there like Ryan and Phil that don't feel the need to try to cut people down. Uh, make a, and and, and uh, <coughs> it's bad enough. It, 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 it's, it's not enough that you're putting yourself out there on the internet for everybody in the world, whoever watches these videos, to judge you. And uh, you just don't, you just don't need, um, you just don't need it. Now I, I'm waiting on the next. I'm waiting on the comment that hasn't gotten here yet. I'm waiting on the comment. Oh, a good way to get free tools for your daughter. Uh, or get free tools is to put your daughter on on Facebook or, or, or put your daughter on your videos. Um, it's come real close to that comment, but it hasn't actually. Ma nobody's actually made that comment. And I know the people watching now are none of the ones that's made that comment. This is just people that just come across the video and go, "Ooh, I'm going to put a derogatory comment here." And but uh, um, I, I don't. I, I feel the need to, and I kind of walk myself into this. I feel the need to explain something. I haven't asked for anything. I haven't asked nobody for nothing. And I won't. People have given my daughter tools and a few, a few tools to me as well. Out of the goodness of their heart and the kindness of their heart because they got it to give. And they're trying to and keep her encouraged in, 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 in the uh, industry. Or in the, uh, I started to say sport. But, Machine. Uh, Machine world, whatever you want to call it. Machinist word. Uh, but yeah, I, I've gotten those Chuck those comments before too, and that one about the putting tear her up to making the video for the lathe. Yes, I put her up to making a video for the lathe. But this is what I said. She was watching Keith Rucker. She said, "Ooh, I'd like to have that." I said, "Well, if you want the lathe, you go make the video." That's it. That's all I did. Okay. Um, uh, Daddy. <clears throat> Lang says. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lang said. Stephen. Stephen Lang said that keeps the sawdust of the of the lathe. What? That keeps the sawdust of the lathe. That's what I mean. Mean out of the lathe. Of off off what the does? lathe. I, I'm the sawdust. I don't know. Um, what what do you m mean? I don't get. I don't. Okay, and then Ryan Michelle though said, "We'll go back to that in just a second. Ryan Michelle said, "Encouragement is what it is all about." Sorry. And then Lang said, "Off." Oh, we probably but, said something, and, and uh, well, you, we'll go too fast. A lathe in the ham shack. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. That and the grit, the grit and the dirt. Oh, this is a four jaw chuck key. More. Look at there. Look, 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 look. See, somebody was smart. Look at there. Socket head cap screws. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, socket head cap screws. How many are in there? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. No, they're not. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> All right, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm, look, now, let me get my glasses on. Before I make a fool out of myself, let me make sure. You're already doing it. Look at here. Can you focus in on this? I don't know. Can y'all look? Let me turn this down here. Okay, I can't see it. Can you focus in on that? Yes, right yes. there, right there. I want to see you get a, th a socket thin enough to go down in there and tighten that up. And yes, I know the the studs in backwards. I want you to get a, a socket, a stud in there, and tighten that up. This is what little machine shop sent. No, that's gonna be a socket head cap screw. Okay. Okay. Buck, uh, let me read you the past comments. Buck Calbro, C L C A L A B R O. Calbro. Calbro. I don't. He said. Anyways, he said. Amen, Ryan. We are here to encourage each other. Like Stephen Lang said, lays in the ham in the ham sh shack. Sack. Keeps the dust. Keeps the. Yeah, he meant shack. He says sack. No. And they said, I can't type too well. And then Phil said, you know, Scott, there will be, there will always be people that suffer from envy as well as the un uncontrollable urge to try and boost their fragile egos by 
belittling others. Belittling. Okay. And then Phil also said, ignore the trolls. Give me the Birkins. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I'm off. Look, well, look here. I got a, I got a question. Okay. Now, um, I don't know how it is to y'all, but I've seen Keith Spinner get stuff. I've seen Rucker get stuff, and Adam Booth, and I've seen everybody get stuff. Hey, I got this. You want this? Trading back and forth. Blah 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 blah. Viewers that says, "Hey, I like your channel. I'm gonna send you a bunch of tools, just because I like what you're doing." But oh my gosh. Sometimes. When somebody sends us a bunch of high dollar stuff, I, I feel pressured that I got to get out there and make a video. Well, the spontaneity goes away when you do that. Um, the uh, nobody said anything, and, and but that's just the way I feel. And, and my daughter got all upset about it because she thought that she had to get in here and produce a video. Well, she's got school and other stuff. And a couple of the other guys that I talked to actually on the phone told me, don't worry about it. Basically what Phil just said. Or who, who said, don't worry about the trolls? Ignore Stephen the trolls. Lane. Ignore the trolls is Phil. 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 Projects. Phil's projects. Uh, so, yeah. That, that, that's, that's it. I, I'm, okay. It's okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. Fin okay, finish. Go ahead. Okay. If a comment come up, I can't. Okay. I'll talk over them. Adam Alterman said, you are willing to... You are willing to put yourself out there. You deserve anything anyone sends you. Um, but, I, I mean... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. She got sent a Noga arm and, and uh, a dial indicator. And, and uh, I mean, I got one, two, three red boxes back up. And, and, and it just... Um, I'm in. So no, I agree. Well, what's his name? Adam. Adam. Al Adam we'll call him Adam. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the screen, the side of the phone that has the comments on it, so I can't pronounce your name. Shane. Shane. Shane Burrell. Ignore them. Make videos you want to make. Trolls are like some children fishing for attention. They feel ignored and they eventually stop and move on. All right, go back to the other one. That camera's dirty or something. Go back to the other one. Turn the light back on if you need it. Well, you get the. Well, you could get the tripod. Where's the tripod? Out in the shop. Um, you ask me who want to go run and they get it right quick. Well, you can turn it around and face you for a minute. They don't have to see me every five seconds. A uh, viewer, I got a viewer that, that helped us buy the camera. I got a viewer that bought this, bought the three jaw, the four jaw, the backing plates, everything. No, I oh, meant oh, wait, forget back to, to, to keep on you. Oh. And um, and he, and he said the first the first time he sent anything, I told him, I says I'm not going to change what I do. Da, 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 da. I'm not, I, you know, if you don't want to send the money, then that's fine. And he says, no, it's yours to do what he... And he, he doesn't. So, I yeah. guess it's just a little humbling. I guess it's a little humbling that you put... That you, like, like, like they've been saying, you put yourself out there and... Um, you deserve anything that anyone sends you, I guess. I mean, so. I'm trying to teach her how to be educated, book smart, how to be educated running machinery... How to be educated using the radios, shooting guns, working out in the shop, driving lawnmowers, trucks, cars, whatever. Uh huh. Attention, attention. Mr. Scott Tindall is making an announcement. What the da? <laughs> I am officially off of my soapbox. Huh? My soapbox. Okay. You get up on a box and you stand above the crowd and you make an announcement. Oh. Oh, okay. So get off in other words people say you get off and soap get off your soapbox? Yeah, off the intention box, I guess. I'm, I soapbox. You know, it's a box that soap used to come in, you stand on it. Oh. Okay. Like a podium. Oh, okay okay. Lord Lord, mercy, move along. Huh? Move it along. Who said that? No me. Oh, you said that. Ryan Michelle said, as I said in one of your other others. Other videos? No, 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 no. As I said in one of 
your others, yeah. It takes a village, and I am very proud to be part of Tears Village. Tira is the queen. <laughs> well, Tears Village, it is. That is, I mean. I got stuff around here. We, we wouldn't believe that we've cleaned this up. You wouldn't believe that this was spotless just the other day. Tears says, "Don't get in there, Daddy. Make a mess." I get in here and and, and uh. That's exactly what he does. Yes. I beat you up now. Yes, but I tell you what, I am actually proud. I'm actually proud that I didn't make uh, the truck up, run Tira? any worse than what it <laughs> runs at the factory. Three thousandths uh, uh, TIR is, is what it runs. Something centered up in a chuck, tightened up in a chuck, and that's exactly what it ran. Three thousandths. Okay, hold on. Uh, we got one from Doug Christopher saying, what's up, Tara? Nothing much, just doing the live video. Phil said, ha ha, I should have sent Tara some Dicom. She would, she would look like Smurfette in no time. Ha, <laughs> Dicom, uh, uh, oh, um. I don't know what that is. Layout fluid. You, you paint a piece of metal and you can draw a lot, scri scribe lines on it and stuff like that. She would look and like you can Smurfette also, in no um, time. You can also... Paint it on a part that you're turning to check and see if uh, if it's skipping or, or, or cutting, some, you know, out of round, if it's out of round or something. I mean, just all kind of uses for it. Like, I think it's actually called layout fluid. I'm not 100% sure. Fit, uh, Ryan, Sh Ryan Shell, I said, oh, wait a minute. You oh, never keep saying his whole name every time, I don't guess. Never mind, he's talking to Phil, saying, Phil, I know I do when I use it. Hey, I look like the Grease Monster. And, Doug and I got... said, "What?" Doug just came in. Doug Christopher just came in saying, "So he said, what are what are we doing?'" We uh, just got through showing. The, uh, we didn't show the. Uh, I didn't put the lathe on the chuck. On I didn't record it. I kind of got here and got excited. The box came in and I put this one on. Plus, I also I wanted to make sure that turn light on. I also wanted to make sure that I could get it right in case I had to go to the backup truck. But uh, I'll turn it on again. Back up. See, she runs nice and true. Nice and true. All right. Um, Shane. How'd you say his name again? Shane Burrell. Burrell. He said, real good for thread cutting. Yep. Layout fluid. Oh, and Phil's product said it gets everywhere. Phil. Just Phil. Phil. Doug said, Phil oh. Phil Chardon, I think so you should say his last name. But you don't have to call his whole name out every time. Okay. Doug said, oh, heartbreaker. Huh? All right, what does he mean by heartbreaker? Uh, Doug? What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> We're kind of confused. I think he's trying to say you're cute. Okay. Thank you. I would say it in more of a happy voice, but right now, oh heart, oh heartbreaker, no video. Oh oh oh! <laughs> well, there's gonna be a video of the four jaw. Sorry. We're gonna we're gonna do a video of the four jaw. I'm gonna get the camera mounted up over the top, and we're gonna turn the four jaw chuck down. And we got to uh, back <laughs> up here. This is for people that haven't seen it. I have my little. Uh, um, let me see if I can get this out. Can you get it? I got it. I got my little, uh, whoops. Ah! Uh, Where'd it go? Um, I don't know. Alright, so I got, bought these. I'm dying to use these. Do, 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 do. A little, uh. Oh, my goodness! See, that's what this is for, Tara. Everybody on here knows what they're for, but I'll demonstrate them anyway. So, here. You're going to take this. They're for the little things on there. And you're going to put that up in the end right there like that. You're going to screw it in and there. And you're going to screw this in. Oh, hi. Oh. Oops, come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. There we go. Ah, the cap come off. Well, that blows. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me tell you some of the comments. Phil said, hey, not bad, Scott. I've heard many verses of my last name. What? Is, how do? 
Desjardins, is that not it? That's how, that's how, uh, Zinkowski pronounces it. But anyway, so, there you go. Everybody knows what they're for. You get them all in there. Um, uh, I don't know if that's gonna go down low enough for that register oh. to catch. And me still be able to get a hold to them. Um, I don't want to go much further than that, because I'll screw it out of the end of the thing. Okay, um, Doug, Doug. But, uh, mm -hmm. well, you put all those in there, Tara, and then mm -hmm. you, um, put the chuck up on there, and then you mm -hmm. tap it and mark the holes. Alright, Doug said, hey, I mean, uh, not hey, yeah, Catherine Alterman said hello, and Adam Alterman, um, Catherine is his daughter, T he said, oh, he, knows his daughter. he says, can you tell him? Tessa, Tara, would you say hi to my daughter, Catherine? Oh. And that, tell that, her that to That would explain how we know it's her daughter. I mean, his daughter. And tell her to get out of the shop. Yes. Get out of the shop? Get out. I mean, get out into the shop. <laughs> okay. She's, and Phil said, very close, just missing a little French accent. What does he mean? Uh. Yeah? Yeah, me fuck you up. What the world was that? <laughs> it's just like we That's not no. Leave that one alone. That's no, 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 no. Don't even go there. That is. No, don't even try. <laughs> anyway, I don't even. I can't even think of it. Uh, <laughs> Will you let me say what I'm gonna say so before I get talking up too much? Go ahead. Catherine said nope, and then she said J.K. <laughs> <laughs> she said just kidding. That Jonathan W. said. Hey! Hey, Jonathan! This, this is my free tag. This is my free yeah, let, let the accent go. <laughs> let it go. Hey, Jonathan. Yes? Get out to the shop. Hey, where's Jonathan? He's still on there? Yes, sir. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming. I don't know, man. I'm trying to find this box. Where's that box at? Yeah, what here box, it is. What box? What box? What box are you on in? Uh, oh, um, yeah, he said yes. He's still here. <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> you want it, Jonathan? I don't have the money to send it right now, but same pins and everything. You want it? You could have it. That was the one I was going to send when the other one didn't uh, go through. But the other one came back, so we, we sent that it one. back. So, yeah, okay. So, you want it? You can have it. Ah. You could have it. Just, just, t just tell us. I'm gonna guess we got 20, 20 people watching and five thumbs up. Hey, thumbs up for five people. Don't forget to go buy a T-shirt. Johnson said I haven't used the others yet. <laughs> well, hey, they're in a box, all packaged up. Yes, buy a T-shirt. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, you don't have to scream. The phone's six inches away from you. Bye, bye. <laughs> I swear, I swear, you, you were, you were just, you. Now what? Come on, go ahead. There you go, alright, there you go. Guess what, tell them what you're going to do tomorrow. We're going to have another live tomorrow, and what are you going to do? Tomorrow I'm going to... Tram. Tram in in your my leaf no not my drill drill bit press my drill press <laughs> do you forget hey I don't do hints don't do I, one. Did, I didn't I mean, do a hint I said tell them what you were gonna do that's not a hint that's I a did, command I didn't know what we were gonna I was going to do I did not know yeah remember we were gonna take we're gonna take the uh that, that indicator right there, and that indicator right there, and we're going to tram your table in, and then we're going to check your spindle to see how much run out you have on your spindle. So, Stephen, Stephen said, I will order a shirt. I am getting caught up after being away all weekend. Alrighty, bye when you get the chance. www.tblaster.com forward slash Scott N. Tara. S I meant Tara N. Scott. T E R A. N S C O T T. All right. Um. Doug said late. Doug said dinner time. I think you have the little camera monkey there. Uh, fix, trying to fix some food, but you didn't eat because you were so excited about the late. Yeah. So you got to eat. Hey, I, I can't wait to get me up some money saved up. I want. I want one of those monkey shirts. I, Doug, want, I want one of those monkey shirts <laughs> like Phil's got. 
Doug said, oh, wait, let me see a T-shirt. Shirts. Get it? I'm going to show me he meant, like, T-shirt? I don't know what he meant. I just saying. I don't know. You on call, Jonathan? Um, you just sitting around the house waiting on them to call you? I don't know. Catherine said, enjoy enjoying the st stream. Call me Kate. Kate. Okay. Turn it around, but I can see you. Okay. Johnson said, ha ha, camera monkey. Oh, seriously? I did. I turned it around. Hi. I don't need to see me. Okay. Jonathan said, always on call 24-7. Lord mercy. Barely get in I drove sleep. a record for a while. It, 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 it's, it's not horrible. fun. It's horrible. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for what you've done. Uh, Doug wants. To, Doug said, "Let me see what the T-shirt looks like." Can we pull it up on the website or something? Show. I mean, uh, yeah. Hang on. Hold on. Phil said, "Time for me to move on." Nice watching you guys. Us old folk need our beauty sleep, and I need a lot. Cheers. Hold Bye. On I'm trying to get there. There, oh there, my there. God. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it around. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get to the one with where I can change the color. Go down. No, oh. not the one. Uh, they come in red and blue. So if you go go there and it's either red or blue. So pick your color. It has the logo. Hold on. Let me try this. Let me let me see if I can do this. There we go. There you go. All right, so show them the blue. There's blue. There's blue, and you get them to... You can go all up to 5X. So small to 5X, so if anybody's 5X, get you one. And you too, Kate, if you want one. <laughs> Six at Tennis Home Shop logo. Back up a little bit, Sorry. baby. Johnson Jeffy said, what's the site one more time? www.tblaster dot com forward slash Tira N Scott T E R A N S C O T T Yes. Okay. Buy a shirt. Help us out here. Quit plugging it so much. You can, people are gonna get tired of hearing about them. Okay. I mean, you can, it's okay to remind them, but you Every keep on beating them in the head about it. They're going. Today's. They're not gonna do anything. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Let me see that. Alright. Alright, later, Doug. Is that all, Daddy? Huh? Huh? I said, is that all? Oh, I'm sorry. I was on the computer. Thought I was going to need to ask her another question. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, uh... tomorrow. <laughs> well, not tomorrow. But coming up soon. The next video should be us mounting the four jaw chuck and uh, eventually I'm going to make a wooden stand to go under the lathe with so, a cabinet to put all your stuff under or in and it'll be wooden because that lathe is, is too small and does I can build a nice wooden stand it can sit on uh, we might build out of metal but I doubt it I can do it a lot easier with wood um Ryan said do you have any center drills for the lathe no. No, we do not. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, so, buy to the 10 peop 17 people. I also got to buy uh, a number zero Morris Taper reamer so that I can try to ream the uh, tailstock quill. And because the, uh, here, let me show you. Come over here. Ryan said I'll add one or two to your package. What? I don't know, pack it, uh, the center drills, I guess. So like, oh, okay. I got, this is a brand new taper, uh, Morris taper to Jacob's 33 taper. I think it's Jacob's 33. I mean, it's a zero to J33. But it's hitting right here. Turn the light on. It's hitting right here. Matter of fact, let me do this right quick. All right. Um...
Oops. Kate, Alterman said, what's your call sign? KJ4BIZ. It's on a shirt. Yes, sir. And this thing already spun, messing up my thing. All right, so I, I, I've taken some Sharpie and colored the big end of the taper. Now I'm going to do the little end, and we're going to see if if I did any work, I did some work on it with a, a, a new taper and some valve grinding compound just to try to help it out a little bit. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna put it in here. I gotta run it out a little bit so that it doesn't so that it'll lock. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in and just lightly turn it. Yes, sir. It's KJ4BIZ. Okay. All right, look. Oh See, it took all the, it took, it's just grabbing right here. That's all it's grabbing on, right there. And if you put it in here, mm -hmm. then it, yeah, well, the, the, right now. Wow, I did not See, know. Okay. It, it flops around. So I don't know, I don't know if I need to try to come up with a new tailstock quill, or if I need to keep on massaging that. But, um... Uh, I need a I need a tape so I'm, I I got I got to find one I'll find it sooner or later, and uh, get a, a number zero Morris taper reamer and take this out and put chuck it up in something, and then go down in there and reshape it so that it fits. Uh, Jonathan said ream it. Ream it. Okay. Yeah. Uh. See it's hitting it's hitting right here, but it's not hitting down here. Yeah. I did not know that. Okay. What? Uh, you know, but you know, uh, buck. Cowbro or whatever his last name is. Cowbro. Cowbro. I can't see it. He has. He has a call sign. He was asking Katie if she had one. I did not know that. Okay. Anyways, I was. Uh, all right. So I gotta get a reamer. Let's see. Um. I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering if that's even tapered. Oh, put creamer. Put, Donathan W. Okay, Donathan said, put creamer in the lathe chuck. For what? I don't know. Re, he said reamer. Oh. Put reamer in the lathe chuck, not cream. <laughs> um, Brooke said, K A L A H, bro. I don't know what that means. Some kind of short word language. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm assuming that's polished. W for AMA. I mean, I'm assuming that's, oh. um... Okay. I'm assuming it's tapered. Brian said one shirt says that one shirt says that the one shirt says that the Craftsman 109 uses a short MTO, the wider end reduces reduced so that so if that is right, it means a normal MTO will not work. And then he said, something to look to see if it is true or not. Oh, okay, I get it now. What? Buck said, it's how you say my last name. Okay, let me turn I'm going to turn it around here for us. Calibro. 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 Okay. Calibro. Okay. Well, what did Brian say? Hold on. Something to look to see if it is true or not. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Um. One okay. One search says that the Crappen 109 uses a short Morse taper zero. Morse taper zero. The wider and reduced. So if that's right, it means the normal MTO will not work. Ah, okay, I got you. So he's talking about this. Johnson said, use a chug to hold reamer, then run the tailstock in. Uh, he's talking about uh. Talk about those. This. 
What's that? That's the center, but that's a short More versus deeper. this. Versus this right here. Where I don't swear. Ah. You're that big green thing in the way. That's a center, but it's not it's not long. I got another taper over here. Where's my other one? Uh, well, not my other one, your other one. I for say. Who wants a slave? Mwah. Yeah. Well, see, that's just, there's another one. That's still a long one. Yeah. So what he's saying is this far back in there, it may not be, it may not be, um, see, there's nothing here in the middle. Mm-hmm. Because the center, the centers don't have any problem at all. You put a center in there, like this center right here, you put that center in there, that center doesn't flop around. No, it does not. Okay, but the, the, the long taper does. So, um... Uh, what do you do? No, you have to, you have to send, you have to take it all the way in so that the bolt pushes the center out. Okay, but so he's talking about this. He's talking about the short, the short taper versus the long. See right here? I see. Well, it's actually they're the same length, but it, it's it's all the way down. So, Ooh, only yeah. I know to do is try to ream it. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Okay. Adam has a a a, 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 a call sign. I think that's kind of a big chuck. Jonathan said, "Wonder if they make an adapter." I have no idea. No idea. All right. Um. What else? Is that it? Or what else? 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 Ow! I don't know. Hey, you know what we need? We need a, a chat room. We need a video chat room where everybody can log in. Uh, I, I wouldn't say every weekend, but just whenever they can get in. So whoever like, out there is the computer guru, we need to be able to, you know, log in. And when we're doing like, live, everybody can log in and share the video, and, um... Get okay, more people. Well, no, it, it, it's, everybody can see everybody. We used to have a thing on the radio called Cam Radio, Cam 2 Radio, or Cam Radio Net. So, like, I can see you, and you we can, can see, see me. We can see them, they can see us, they can see everybody, everybody can see them, blah, 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 blah. So we could, like, do it's ask questions. So, yeah. Instead of... So, oh, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, video chat like, room. Kind of like a Skype. Like I do my class call. connects and stuff. We do have like the webcams where we can all see each other. We can all do them at once. Right. Yeah. Like class connect session. Well, that hurts. I can take mine off but too. Anyway, oh my gosh. Um, take my chair just for a second. So the chuck is running. The chuck is running nice and smooth. I'm also going to run a segmented belt so I don't have to keep taking this apart to change the belt. And maybe getting time to turn the camera off. But this truck runs, 21%. I mean, just smooth as a silk. 21%. Oh, uh, Adam Alterman said, there is a, your million dollar idea. Better hurry. <laughs> yeah, I had an idea to put a pickup truck bed on a semi-truck, turn it into a large pickup truck, and Ford beat me to that, too, so. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, this is a chuck that goes mm. on the Harbor Freight Lane. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, 11 people are watching. 11 people have give us thumbs up. So, same, same. All right. Is there anything else, Daddy? Mm. Um, oh, you put the little red grips back on there? Yes, sir. They're just going to come off again. I know, I know, but I'm thinking of a way it, where we can keep them on there. Like a, if you want to make it padded, we'll get some heat shrink, and we'll cut off. We'll cut off just a little bit, like right here. We'll cut it off right here, mm -hmm. and then we'll put the heat shrink up on there, so you can still see the red tips, but it'll be padded. But uh, are you supposed to leave this in here? No, sir. What's the first thing you're supposed to do? Just take it out. Take it out before you turn on the lathe. Always. Yes, but if you don't, it'll come out, bing, right in your head. Do you ever stand in line with that chuck? No, sir. Okay. I do not ever lean over it. I lean around it. I mean, I reach around it. Yes. Never reach over it because you might hurt yourself. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Oh, they, oh. And uh, this is the old Ford jaw that come off of it. 
Yes, it does. Ask me how I know. Ryan said that. Um, oh, he, he done flipped one out of the truck before. How do you know? I'm assuming. Well, Ryan, I, um, when I said I've used a lathe before, it's brake lathes and stuff like that, but I've also used a an, 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 uh, rigid 300 <sighs> pipe threading machine. And uh, that's <sighs> basically a, a scroll type collet chuck for holding pipe. Ryan's embarrassed to say it. <laughs> And um, I had forgotten that uh, mm -hmm. I had left the switch on the foot switch on the on the threading machine was stuck, and so I had unplugged it. Didn't think anything about it. Walked off, come back from lunch, and, and uh, the boss seen the drop cord unplugged. And he reaches over there and plugs it back in. The lathe takes. I mean, the uh, threading machine takes off, threads a uh, die head up against the chuck. And catches on the jaw of the chuck and just sits there and spins it around and just beats it up until it breaks everything off of it. You should have done that. You shouldn't have left it. You, yeah, but you're supposed to check a piece of machinery. You're, hey, where's this drop cord go? I don't know. This guy was being electrocuted. I thought I'd unplug it. Let me plug it back in. No, you're supposed to check before you do something. Anyway, skinny two, six five. Two three says hello, Miss Tara Scott. I told, hey. Very right on you. Okay. All right, so we got all the stuff in. Hello. Uh huh. We got all the stuff in. Um, I'm thinking about moving your lathe over here. You can have that corner. I can have this corner. That's my, oh, my very own corner. Yeah, and we won't be slinging metal all over that. And this fabric right here, I got plenty of it out there in the shop. I can pull it off and uh, re and redo it. But anyway, anyway that's this um, is the, the four jaw that come off of it. If you can look, turn the light on. Hold on. If you look down, can you see down in there? A little bit. It stripped. Looks like it stripped. Yeah, those threads are like that all around. This is iron. Iron. And the jaws are nice, but this is iron, and this and this one is uh, mm. steel. So you can tell the difference, and I thought that's lasting. And longer. this has got captive, uh, captive uh, set screws in it. Looks pretty boogered. You know what Ryan said? That's what Ryan said. Yeah, well, this is the one that come on. This is the original Craftsman truck. It actually says Craftsman on it. So we're not going to throw it away. We're going to keep it. I mean, but but we can do stuff with it. I mean, we're not keen to do anything with it. I mean, not with it. But Just Put the jaw back in it and screw it back on the backing plate and, and leave hang it. it up on the wall. That's our achievement of using the lathe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or messing it up. Whichever one you want to put right, it as. So tomorrow, we'll, or tomorrow, after you get done with school, we'll, we'll, put that on. we'll start on that. We'll make a video. Yes, okay. And I got to get some, uh, I got to get some uh, metric, uh, um, cap, hit, socket head cap screws to some M6 socket head cap screws to replace these with so that I can reach in there with an Allen wrench, tighten them down, be done with it. Hello. Alright, so is that it? I think that's it. Don't, and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, well, everybody on here that knows like it. If you haven't, if you're not already a member, subscribe if you want to. Like and give us a thumbs up. I suggest that you go and watch the channel intro video. You if you subscribe. like us, subscribe. Subscribe and watch you us. You might not want to stay after you watch the video. Who knows? Don't forget tblaster.com, www.tblaster.com forward slash Tara N. Scott, T E R A N S C O T T, and uh, buy a t shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, Do it! Good night! <laughs> good night, Adam! Good night, uh, everybody! Uh, Ryan said, Did you find the nut you were looking for for the sun gear? And like my oh, says no, goodnight. Oh no, no, I haven't found the nut. I'm going to make the nut. I'm going to turn it. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Good night, Ryan. Good night, Adam. Good night, Skinny Six Five Two Three. Good night. You know, it'd be nice. It'd be a whole lot faster if you just said good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, Buck. Good night, Ryan. Ryan said, "Sounds like a good project." Ryan said, "Good night." E F O. EFD. EFD communication said T T N F Tara. T T N F. Uh, you might want to spell that out for us, please, because um, we do not understand. 
short words like that. Abbreviated words. Abbre I mean, abbreviated words. That will. Talk. To. No, I'm not, not talking. <laughs> I don't know what that is. T -N -T -F -T -T -F -N. Talk to for now. Tara? Probably TL. Probably talk later for now. I don't know. Yeah. Buck said ta ta for now. Oh, ta ta for now. Uh, okay. Com F Community said the same thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, good night, everybody. R O F L M A O. Huh? R O F L M A O. Okay. Rolling on the floor, lapping my butt, my ass off. Well, how am I supposed to know? Well, you're not supposed to know that one word. You're gonna learn it soon enough, but just don't, just don't, don't say it. Don't say it. No. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Good night. See y'all tomorrow or later. Or, okay, tomorrow. You're showing the, my, down here on the floor. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm on me. Oh, you're on you. Oh, I'm sorry. EFD said monkey powder. Yes. It's a monkey butt. <laughs> hey, I'm shaking that monkey powder stuff all, all over her. She's still here. It does not work. And I'm monkey. I haven't read it, but I'm assuming it's talcum powder. Because I've seen it before. I'm assuming it's talcum powder. I will destroy you. Anyways, um. See Bye. Good night. See, see y'all later. Love Good night. Goodbye. Bye.